All right, this really turned out. Crafty Caboodle, let's get crafty today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is such a beautiful sunny day. It's a perfect day to tie dye. I'm gonna be sharing with you five different tie dye techniques that you can do and then you can decide which one you like better. I got a kit off of either Amazon or a store. I'll have the link down below to it. And then I'll be using food coloring to see if that works as well. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so I'm here on my deck. I have a little poster board to protect my surface area. So what you're gonna need is I got all of these white t-shirts at Target. Now these are men's, but I did get them in small. So I think there's about, what, five of them in here. So we're gonna be doing five different techniques. I also got these empty squeezable bottles because we are gonna be testing out like kind of like a homemade tie dye too. And what you're gonna need for that is food coloring and then I got this amazing kit there are tons and tons of them on Amazon and I'll be testing some of them out but today I'm gonna be testing this out so it comes with already pre-made um, little tie-dye containers we've got pink yellow and there's a blue this one also comes with some gloves which is awesome and some kind of like white rubber bands and I'm gonna be going off of these techniques down here I don't know which five I'm gonna choose yet so let's get started I think I'm gonna do the magical unicorn tie-dye kit first all right Koodle fans what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a shirt and you're gonna go ahead and Soak it in water, make sure it's drenched. You're gonna wring it out. So the first technique I'm gonna do is the magical rainbow swirl. This one looks really cool. All right, so you wanna lay your shirt flat. Now where you want your swirl, that's where you want to twist it. So I want mine kind of at the top, not so much in the middle, kind of like right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna pinch it and you want to go in a circle and you want to keep twisting it see how it has that little twirly effect okay now that you have this beautiful swirl you want to grab your rubber bands now they provide white ones okay we're gonna use three of them and you want to create six different sections so you want to grab your little swirl you kind of want to make sure they're nice and tight so we've got one rubber band going across one rubber band going the other way now now you want to do six of them so let's go ahead and put one right over here and kind of position the rubber bands so that the um, portions are equal all right there you have it now let's start to add the colors okay so you want to drench the whole thing in this pink so I'm gonna do blue on this side and yellow so once you have the front go ahead and do the back all right, you guys, I am all done with this one. I'm gonna leave this to dry for about eight hours. 24 is ideal though, but we're gonna see what it looks like in eight hours. All right, next, this one looks really awesome, the sweet stripes. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna fold your fabric. So you wanna go ahead and pick the middle section up like that and then keep going. So the next section, just raise it up so they're kind of like strips. And go ahead and do the sleeves as well. Okay, just like that. And what you wanna do is you wanna section this off. So let's start at the top right here. So I'm gonna put one here. Make sure it's tight. You're gonna put one there. And you're just gonna keep on going. All right, and there you have it. Now let's color this. And in this one, I'm gonna use the blue and the pink coloring. So we did pink, blue all the way around. I'm gonna leave this to dry now. I'm gonna try these stylish sunbursts. Those kinda look cool. Okay, so you wanna lay your shirt flat and you wanna create just little pinches, I like to call them. You just kind of want to scrunch it up like that and tie a rubber band. Kind of looks like a pimple. So wherever you want the little sunburst, that's what you're going to do. So I'm just going to create them all over my shirt. 
So this shirt is gonna be yellow. It's gonna have yellow sunburst. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the yellow on this little pimple part of it, <laughs> this raised portion of it, and I'm just gonna do all of them at first. And now I am just gonna put the yellow all over the shirt because I want it to be yellow in color. I would say leave a little bit of white around these little bursts. This is what it looks like. We're gonna leave the color to really soak in there. And on this shirt, I'm just gonna kind of squeeze the color around. Okay, up next, I really wanna try this cool crumbles out. So this technique, you gotta crumble. So we're gonna grab an area and we are just gonna crumble. And this part, okay. So just a messy, messy, crumbly shirt. And for this one, I'm gonna be doing a blue shirt. So it's nice and crumbly. It doesn't say to add rubber bands, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some. And now I'm just gonna add blue different areas okay so this is what this one looks like if you look inside it is white you can put a little bit of coloring inside of it too but i just want to see what it's going to look like if i don't all right up next we're going to be doing the shibori fun look at those awesome stripes okay lay your shirt flat and next i'm going to be grabbing my rolling pin so what you wanna do is you wanna start down here and literally just roll your shirt up and just kind of fold in the sleeves if they're too tall. And now what you wanna do is you wanna scrunch your fabric. It can be a little bit tough. And now it's all scrunched up like that. Now you're gonna grab your coloring and you're just gonna go every other here. So don't drench it completely in the pink and flip it over and do the same thing on this side and just scrunch it up if you need to again. So this is what it looks like. I unraveled a little bit and I added the dye and strips right there too. So now we're gonna leave this to let it soak it up. All right, now we're gonna make our own. Grab your food coloring, grab your bottles. Okay, I went ahead and I put a little bit more than a cup in each of these bottles. And I really don't know how many drops. I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze it. Mm, that looks good. So for this one, I'm gonna do my own technique. <laughs> Put a rubber band. So this is the caboodle uh, technique. All right, so I put the yellow food coloring, so I'm gonna just do a strip of that. I made my own purple. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah. So I added blue and red together, and I'm gonna do blue. So this is what my creation looks like. I'm gonna leave it to soak. So I have all of these drying in the sun, soaking up all of their colors. I think my favorites are gonna be this one right here, this little crumbly one, the sunburst one too. I think they're all gonna turn out. All right, so these have been sitting out in the sun for about eight hours. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna rinse them with cold water. So make sure to take out the rubber bands. Let's see if any ink will come out. Hardly anything. All right, once you're done rinsing these, we're gonna go ahead, throw them in the dryer until they're dry. All right, you guys, this is the second day that I'm recording this and everything has dried. So let's go ahead and try on all of the tie dye shirts.
are all done tie dyeing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all of our five techniques that I used today. What an awesome kit. I would highly recommend it. The only downfall is that it does not provide a shirt. You have to provide your own, but that is fine because they're not that expensive, especially if you go to like Walmart or Target or even Amazon. Just buy like a basic white t-shirt that comes in like a five pack or something. I'm so glad that I tie dyed more than one shirt because so many of those turned out. The one with the food coloring I'm so sad about because I really wanted that one to turn out to use my own food coloring instead of the kits, but that's okay. Maybe I'll figure it out in another video. But this is one of my favorite shirts with the rolling pin. How awesome. I also like like the little rainbow twisty one. That one was cool. I hope you guys use some of these techniques. If you did, if it turned out, shoot me a comment down below. Or if you want me to do other tie dye items, I'm going to do more coming up soon. Also leave a comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up because I want to know if you guys like stuff like this or not. Also subscribe if you haven't and until next time, bye.